Hello, my name is Gabby Ackerman. I am the Business Development Director for Women in Payments, and I am delighted to be chatting today to Melissa Onleo Yambao. Welcome, Melissa. Perhaps you could uh, start with a couple of words of introduction. Thank you, Gabby, and also very delighted to be here. So yes, so I look after Cities Treasury and Trade Solution, ASEAN Sales for Financial Institutions and Fintech Sales. And while I am based in Singapore, I am originally from the Philippines. I grew up there actually and moved to Singapore um, after a while to take my master roles um, and stayed here in Asia uh, between Singapore and Hong Kong to, to be in my transaction banking career. So I've been in this uh, business for about 15 years now and really delighted um, that I continue to be passionate and excited about the payments industry. For those in our audience who may be new to my career in six, we start with some rapid fire questions, just looking for one word answers, followed by six more detailed questions. Are you ready, Melissa? Let's go. Who or what inspires you? Brene Brown. Do you attribute your success to luck or hard work? Luck, or as I prefer to call it, uh, fate or destiny. What drives you? People. That's a, that's a great answer. <laughs> your favorite quote or motto you live by? From the book, The Alchemist. Mm. Tell your heart that the fear of suffering is worse than the suffering itself. When applying for a new opportunity, what percentage of required attributes do you feel you need to have in order to be a confident uh, applicant? I used to say 80%, but now I think I'm at 60%. <laughs> the coolest payments company today? City. Thank you, Melissa. Now that we know a bit more about you, let's move to the more in-depth questions about your journey. What has been your biggest challenge as you climbed the ladder in the payments industry? To be honest, I think my biggest challenge has been myself and doubting myself. I've been really blessed because throughout the key moments of my career, I've had people around me, managers, mentors in the payments industry who actually believed in me more than I believed in myself sometimes. And through their confidence in me, I was actually able to slowly realize um, my own skill set and the value that I bring to the business and the industry. What do you feel has been your greatest accomplishment in your career? I remember in 2017, when I took on a people manager role, I realized Luckily, in the first few months that I had this unconscious bias towards preferring those people who have the same work style as me. You know, that moment when I saw four different and unique individuals really coming together, really liking working together as well. And that was, for me, a very big accomplishment that even though they're all very different, that they love working together and collaboratively. And seeing how each and every unique skill set and strengths can be celebrated. Since then, um, every time, you know, when I moved companies, every time I manage a team, that has been my number one priority to really understand each individual and really bring out their own strengths and skill set. If there were one thing you could have done differently, what would that have been? What would have been maybe a fun and exciting thing um, to add will be to perhaps work in another region during the formative years of my career. So I've always worked in Asia Pacific. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's so exciting. It's so fun. But yeah, I think it would have been quite a different experience for me living and working in another region. How important have your networks and connections been in assisting your career in the payments landscape? You know, my network's really important because it gives me a lot of people to turn to, right? So the thing about payments and transaction banking, you can't possibly know everything. Whenever I have my own career challenges or whenever I need certain expertise to help me move along certain conversations or help me think through creative ideas. So so the network for me has really been 
my go-to in terms of my support and also been my go-to in terms of you know this career and as I develop in this career. As a senior female leader, how have you helped shape the culture of your current business? I think it's really just by bringing myself, who I am, my values, my beliefs to work. Um, and in every interaction that I have with clients, external parties, bringing my values, my ethics, you know, the way I see people, I celebrate people and, and diversity you know, bringing that in my day and day to day interaction with people is actually what can help shape the culture. You know, that positivity and that energy that I bring, I hope can then also influence other people to to do the same. What advice would you give to aspiring women professionals in the industry? Vulnerability is really a good way for us to get to know our true selves. You know, vulnerability is uncertainty, risk emotional exposure, right? Um, it's that mm -hmm. feeling of, you know, butterflies in your stomach when we step out of our comfort zone. So I do believe that to really deepen relationships, to become a good leader, to become a good and great contributor to the payment industry, I think it is really through vulnerability that we can we can achieve that. You know, bringing our true selves, being authentic, um, I think it's really one of my, at least, you know, my milestones or my key thing that really allows me to be successful in this industry and in this career so far. So yeah, dare to be vulnerable. On that very inspiring note, thank you very much, Melissa, for sharing your career journey with us. And thank you all for listening. And I encourage you to join us online for the many other episodes of My Career in Six, where we chat with inspirational leaders from around the world of payments. Mm -hmm.